All right, guys, happy Wednesday, March 16th. We're going to talk about the workout really quickly. Hope you guys had a great first couple of days of workouts this week. We're leading up to 16.4. That's going to be announced uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night. Uh, so warm up, two rounds of three wall walks and 20 kettlebell swings and 20 overhead walking lunge steps. All right, this again on your own pace. You don't have to rush it. You can make your way through nice and steady. A uh, total of six wall walks, 40 kettlebell swings, and 40 overhead walking lunge steps in that warm-up. Make sure that you're nice and deliberate with all your movements. Kettlebell swings right overhead. Uh, overhead walking lunge steps. Choose a plate that's challenging for you, whether it's 45, 25, or uh, try a 35. Something that's going to be tough but doable because we don't have to do this really quickly. All right. Uh, then for the strength work, every three minutes for a total of seven cycles. So it's going to be 21 minutes total. We're going to do three power clean and jerks, RX weights 185, 135, uh, and then 135, 95. So it's going to be a little heavier than normal, intentionally so. So three power clean and jerks. And you're either going to do, in that phase, a 25-foot handstand walk or a 30-second handstand hold. All right? If none of those are in your wheelhouse, you're going to do just a high plank or low plank hold for 30 seconds. All right? So three power clean and jerks. 25 foot handstand walk or 30 second handstand hold or plank hold. All right, that's gonna be every three minutes for total seven cycles. Then we're gonna rest. And then our Metcon for today is going to be 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, overhead squats and chest bar pull ups. Our X weight for overhead squats is 115, 85. Scaled weight for overhead squats is 85, 55. And then with pull ups, as always, if you can't do chest bar pull ups, kipping, you can do strict, you can do just regular kipping, chin over bar, whatever is the most difficult pull up variation for you. Again, understanding that with this rep scheme, you're going to be looking for at least five pull ups in a row of whatever difficulty you do. So if you do, if you have one chest bar at a time, this is not necessarily the workout that you want to do uh, chest bars in, but if you can do five regular kipping pull ups or choose a band. A level of assistance with a band that lets you do five pull-ups at a time, that'll be a good a good scale. All right, overhead squats, if they don't feel good, you can go down to front squats. That's totally fine. And then lastly, core cash out is going to be Tabata mashup. So the Tabata interval, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The mashup means you're going to alternate between exercises back and forth. So this one is the first 20-second interval. You are going to do 20 seconds of V-ups. Then you're going to rest 10 seconds. Then you're going to hold a hollow rock or rock in the hollow position for 20 seconds. Then you're going to switch back, V up, rest, hollow rocks, rest, V up, rest, hollow, hollow rocks, rest for the full cycle. All right. We're just going to do this for four minutes, not going to be for eight minutes. So keep that in mind. Um, still eight cycles, four of V ups and four of hollow rocks. Just make sure you keep them nice and clean. All right. Hope you guys have a great workout. And